I'm Pilar Westell, and I'm the owner of Zendo Coffee. Very beginning, I mean, even before the pandemic, when uh, the shop first opened, we've always had really huge community support. Um, but this was different. This was like, I don't know, I think about it and it's, it's still like very humbling and very like hard to like put into words the kind of care and like support and love that everybody has shown my shop, shown me, shown my staff. You know, we've had um, amazing outpour from people that don't even live in New Mexico, you know, ordering beans and we've had uh, a really cool customer that has been financially donating to my employees for the first few weeks, which was like unheard of. And people come every day, you know, they're still coming every single day and talking about what the shop means. And I don't know, I think it's really cool to see. It's, it's the whole magic that is Zendo. At first I really did feel a, a huge wave of sort of sadness and I was definitely afraid. You know, I just didn't really know what to expect. My staff's become, you know, sort of like a second family to me. And so trying to make the best decisions possible with the information that we all had was, you know, the first thought that went through my my mind. But I think it's just really it was just really hard. It was a hard moment. I I don't normally cry during work, but when we had this staff meeting, it was just like, I couldn't help it because it was, it was just, it felt really sort of vague and, you know, I have no idea when everybody was gonna be able to come back or how everybody was gonna continue to pay their rents or what was gonna happen. And I really wanted to try and get everybody the opportunity and all of the information that I could give them about filing for unemployment early because I knew that as soon as a lot of other businesses shut down that that process was going to be really difficult and so that was also part of my decision making was just trying to like make sure that everybody was able to file at an early time so that they could hopefully talk to somebody and get benefits started sooner than later. I mean, I think I'd been following the news for a while and really, you know, slowly thinking about how I was going to proceed if we did end up having a stay-at-home order go into place. And the more that that news started coming around that, that we were headed that way, I think the more I just started thinking about what was going to be best and safest for my employees, safest for my customers, um, and starting to kind of make a plan based on all of that. It was just me for, yeah, a few weeks. Um, Diego came and helped out with the cash register and stuff because it really is like a two-man job. You need to have somebody that can talk to people and then somebody else that can make the drinks. First, we were letting people come into the space and then, you know, as the weeks progressed, the regulations changed and so you weren't allowed to have a certain number of people in the space and then, that just kind of translated into us deciding to build up this walk-up window, um, mainly for safety and also because it got to that point where, you know, we were told that people couldn't come in. So uh, it was a slow, pro slow progression towards just doing the walk-up window. I think it's probably going to be the new norm for a while. Yeah, I really do. There's just so much at stake. I think in terms of health and safety and wanting to do the right thing. And for me, I think. The most important thing is that we continue to keep the shop running, but also do that in the most careful way that we possibly can.